Uh, we're going to be doing something uh, a little bit different from the normal again. Tonight, we're going to be doing something special. We're going to be showing you my bike. This, fine folks, is a 2015 Giant Revel 29er. It's a mountain bike. Front suspension, hardtail. I love this bike. I have ridden literally thousands of miles on this bike. I've taken some crashes on this bike. I've seen a lot of the country on this bike. And I plan to see a lot more on this bike. I also plan to get another bike soon. And another bike. Because you know what the right amount of bikes is? N plus one. That's right. Where N is the current number of bikes you currently have. So, N plus one. The current number of bikes you currently have, plus one, is the right amount of bikes. So, this is what we're working with here. This bad boy, as stated, is a 29er. It's got 29 inch wheels on there. I love them. 29s by 2 inches, 0.4. Um, they're big tires. And me being 6 foot 4, currently weighing in about 285, this bike takes me everywhere that I need to go, over all the terrain that I need to go on. I have broken a spoke here or there, but let's be honest, I honestly take this thing places where I, I probably take it way too hard. I, I should probably have a full suspension bike for some of the stuff that I do and some of the places I go. But uh, honestly, you know, as GMBN's uh, Blake Simpson at Sampson says that, uh, you know, hardtails, they're the best. He even took one down the Meg. If you don't know what the Meg is, go check out the Meg Avalanche. And that is ridiculous. I don't know how anybody is gutsy enough to do that thing, but cheers cheers to him for sure so anyways as i was saying about the revel just running us uh some shimano gears on there we are actually running 24 gears on there we got to make sure to have those big gears so we can go super fast down those hills and we gotta have those little bit of gears to make sure we can get my big body up those big hills so <clears throat> this guy will do the trick um, I know it's become popular now for everybody to run the one buys and have the super big crank set in the back. Um, I kind of get it. Um, it makes life easier. And on my next bike, I think I will do the same thing. But that's basically just because I want a drop seat. And that is the one thing this bike does not have. And I know you can add drop seats to them, um, you know, but at the same time where you put the uh, the button, yeah, it makes life a little difficult when you have the uh, the front derailleur needing to be controlled on one hand, the rear derailleur on the other hand. It doesn't leave you the room for the dropper post. So the one by system and having the huge gear range in the back um, that has become available in the the one by twelves, um, I think is going to be the way to go on my next bike. But as I was saying, this one is a 3x8, 24 gears in total. Everything that you want to do, this bike will do it. It's got low enough gears to climb up those steep, steep inclines. And like I said, I, guys, I weigh close to 300 pounds, and this bike will take me up those hills. I might not be the fastest guy getting up those hills, but I don't have to stop. I can keep my cadence going the whole time, and that's important. So, you know. You gotta take what you can. Now, to go over a few little accessories we've added onto the bike, we've added on some bar ends because bar ends, well, bar ends are the best. Why did they go away on mountain bikes? I love them. I've had them on my mountain bike for years and years, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. I love these bad boys. Because you know what? You get tired of just holding on to the normal grip sometimes when you're a big boy, and you want a different hand position. So that's what you're gonna do. So, I'm also running here a Sidero front pack. Now these guys, not gonna lie, a little pricey, but they're worth the money. The zipper holds up great, never had any kind of problem with it. It's a good big pouch, holds all my extra stuff in there. I've got, you know, my extra tube, I've got my, my noons. Uh, if y'all guys don't know what these are, uh, be careful which ones you get, because not all of them will treat you right. Some of them, uh, you know, will, will make you want to definitely chug it versus, you know, savoring that water. But it is what it is. 
So also keep in here, you know, spare headlights. You can mount that thing to the handlebars. Um, and it is 200 lumens. It is insanely bright, this little guy here. And it was like 20 bucks for this and the, the, the tail light combo. And it's just amazing. So, you know, and then down here, we've got uh, kind of a crazy little gadget here. If y'all have seen Gremlins, this is what, at the beginning of Gremlins, uh, where he's going around selling all of his tools and everything. I don't know why, but the, it, this just reminds me of the little gadget that he was running around pedaling trying to invent. But this little multi-tool has got a flashlight on it that can detach from this thing. And on here as well, it's got a little flint stick that you can use. It's got, uh, you know, all of our different screwdrivers that we're gonna need and uh, some Allen wrenches. It's also got uh, a little adjustable wrench here. Um, and then it's got pocket knife, scissors, and a little saw on there as well. Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, this thing's got some weight to it, but uh, in a pinch, it's nice to have that there. So, like I was saying, we also got you know, a spare inner tube in there. I think we've got some more Allen wrenches buried somewhere down there, yeah, there they are. There's the Allen wrenches. You gotta make sure to have the Allen wrenches get back in there. What are you doing to me? Hey, behave yourself, get in there. So that goes back in there. Uh, do I have anything else in here I'm really carrying around? That's important. Oh, got another little multi-tool. You never know when you gonna need different multi-tools. Uh, you go on long rides, kind of need to have all, a lot of different things in there just in case. Uh, and I am planning on going on a 100 mile bike ride soon. Um, so yeah, you gotta make sure to be prepared for that one. I'm also gonna put a few other bags on to make sure that I can make it all the way, carry the extra large water bottles, and make sure that, uh, you know, you got two different baskets able to hold my water bottles on here. A uh, great little position over here for my air pump. Got again, the tail light going on back here. Um, and they're removable. You just have to do that and it can slide right off and slide it right back on to charge it, the USB charge. And uh, these little guys are super bright. It's got the flashing option as well. And then back to off. So, but I love those little lights, like 20, $25 I think they were. They were nothing. Great little lights. So anyways, guys, this is the Giant Revel 29er 2015. Hopefully I'll be updating it, getting a newer bike. But now I've got to wash this boy and get it all nice and clean and pretty again. We'll catch you next time. Y'all have a good night.